The woman's screams were still so loud that a few people were prompted to check what was happening. The maitre d' asked everyone to stay in their seats. But of course, some people couldn't just sit down after hearing all those things. The manager of the restaurant made her way to the powder room, and when the door was opened, everyone gasped and were left in shock to see Angeline, the woman who just got engaged earlier, lying down on the floor. She appeared lifeless. Angie! Her fiancé Tyler screamed. Oh no, Angie! He then pushed through the swarming crowd and hastily made his way towards the body of his fiancé. He shook her. Angie, what happened? Call the doctor, please. Call the police. He was panicking now, and everyone else was on their toes, too. Bree, who apparently was Angeline's sister, was also sitting down on the floor hugging herself. She was crying and shaking. What happened? Tyler asked her. Bree, what happened? I don't know, Bree spat at him. How will I know? I was inside one of those cubicles, and when I got out, I found her like that. She was... She's on the floor, her mouth bubbling. I... I have no idea how this could have happened. Oh, my God, that's my sister, she cried, buckets of tears flowing out of her eyes. Please, please help us. Everyone, please go home, the manager said. I'm so sorry for this inconvenience. Inconvenience? Tyler shouted. My fiancé's... We just called 911 and the police. Everyone, please go home. People slowly but hastily made their way out of the restaurant, talking about how things could have been that way and how everything was so peaceful earlier. Even Emmy was shook up. She didn't know how to react. As they made their way to the limo, they bumped into the woman who spoke to them earlier, the one who said she was thankful that Lena McMahon was gone. Oh, she said as she saw Daniel and Emmy. Sorry, that was, that was quite unfortunate. Emmy nodded. Looks like the troubles in Sky Valley are starting again. Calm down, child, the woman said. We still don't know what this is. Anyway, we have to go. Do take care of yourselves. Emmy nodded and let Dan open the car door for her. She couldn't wait to go home. Old habits die hard, they say. And you know what? I believe them. When you know that a person is capable of betraying her closest friend, you do know that she can betray her sister, too. Sometimes, blood is not thicker than water. People have all these things that they want. People have other people that they want. So, of course, they do have the tendency to hurt whoever gets in their way. I do understand the motive. What I don't understand is how she could do it. Oh, no. Just because I'm a ghost doesn't mean I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm not entirely sure, but it's palpable. It's not impossible that she's the one who hurt me before. And it's not impossible that she's the one who hurt Angeline, too. She's still her old evil self. I know. I had to prove it. And what she did today? That justifies that she's really the reason why I could no longer live on this earth. But don't worry, Bree. The cops will get you, and you'll rot in prison hell forever.